Hello, everyone. My name is Li Xiangyu. I'm from China Mobile. I'm a software developer. Um, now I'm responsible for the development of OpenStack Centimeter virtual project and today's topic, Guardian, in our team. Um, today I will share uh, the Guardian and resource high availability service in China Mobile and talk about some technical details about it. So as the Guardian is not open source now, uh, and few people know it. So firstly, I will want to introduce Guardian's background and some important concept. Secondly, I will introduce the logical and function architecture of Guardian. Then I will introduce implement details about Guardian, such as how does VMHA work? And last, I will talk about the plan of Guardian. Um, firstly, is the oh sorry. Firstly, is the background of the Guardian. Uh, in two thousand and six, some of our customers proposed the requirements that the vision machine cannot be affected by the physical machine's failures and cannot be stable. Uh, can and can be stably used all the time. But at that time, our product lies lacks the least cost of the service to meet the customers' customers' requirements. They can detect, alert, and recover the failures of the physical machines and visual machines, and so on. And in 2007, and in 2007, uh, NFE project pro, uh, put, pro, put forward higher requirements on the fault detection range, fault uh, discover speed, and fault uh, recovering time of the high availability service. So as you can see, um, we face a lot of challenges and problems when, uh, because we have to develop a new software from zero. So to develop a so so um, the first difficult is that uh, in the complex environment, there are multiple resources and multiple kinds of failures. That makes the service very difficult to guarantee the occurrence of a judgment. And uh, secondly, in a large scale environment, it is difficult to guarantee the effectiveness of the high availability. And the last one, some of the failures um, you can image is very, very difficult to find out and very difficult to recover. So we face a big challenge, but we, be, but we must find a way out. So based on this uh, back, so based on this background, our team started the uh, research and development of Guardian from uh, since 2006 and released our first version of Guardian in half, half of the 2006. Um, and we always continually adding the Guardian's new features and, and make the uh, optimization improving the detection and troubleshooting efficiency for the NFE project since 2007. Ganyan was first applied to a um, private project uh, in, 2000 and, uh, in 2016 and has been running stable, stably for two years, two years. 
And for now, Guardian has been applied to many projects, including public cloud, private cloud, industry cloud. And uh, recently, we are doing a full test for the Guardian because we, we refactor the code and optimize the Guardian, the structure, uh, this year. And the Guardian will be soon to apply in a big scale, in a, big, uh, in a large scale, uh, public cloud in China Mobile, which, which has about 5,000 nodes. Um, this, uh, this are Guardian's background. Then I will introduce four key concepts of Guardian, which will make you more easier to know about Guardian. Um, it's resource, strategy, failures, and action. So what, eh? Sorry. So what's the resource in Guardian? Guardian is to is used for offering high availability service for the resource reach in IAAS level layer. It contains compute uh, resources, both the physical machines and virtual machines, and the network storage service a certificate, and so on. So next, next is what's the strategy of Guardian? Strategies for Guardian is the ways to monitor resources, the ways to define resource failures, ways to recover resource failures. And what's the, what's the failures for Guardian? Failures means the problems and issues of resources in Guardian, uh, resources in IAAS. It contains the abnormal state of resource, abnormal property of resource, and abnormal relative factors, which, which may cause the resources failures. And the last one is action. Action in Guardians contains the monitoring, alarm, record, and recovery. So do this lovely image make you more interesting in the Guardian? OK, let's take a deep look about into the Guardian. So I will use some images to introduce the architecture of Guardian. First, we should know where is, a, where is Guardian in a cloud. As you can see, Guardian is in the service layer, monitoring the resources, uh, monitoring the resources state, which in the visualization layer, such as the visual machines, servers, KVM, and so on. Then Guardian also has close relationships with other services on the service layer. Uh, this service such, uh, such as the compute service. NOAA uh, will help Guardian to do the HA actions. And Guardians offer APIs to the upper platform, for example, the management platform. Uh, can send the HA strategy and resource properties through the API. And the uh, operation and maintenance platform can receive the alarmed and resource state message from the Guardian. And the next is the logical architecture of Guardian. There is a monitoring agent in the compute node the agent has VM poster, physical, physical machine post, poster, and service poster, and so on. 
The poster is function which used for monitoring resource state and other factors. Monitoring get the sample from the poster and send the samples through the management network to the controller node. The collection agent in the controller control node is used for collect the sample that come from the monitoring agent. The collect agent writes samples to the database, such as the such as my circle, and can also write the data, data to the Redis. At the same time, Guardian will always check the database if the database have the abnormal sample about resources. If Guardian find out the failures about resources, Guardian will do same. Uh, go do some actions to recover the resources from the abnormal state. For example, through the OpenStack API to recover it. And the Guardian can also do the action directly to the resource, such as um, a pulse monitoring. Meanwhile, keep light and LBS keep collector collection agent HA and pacemaker service keep guardian service HA. Next is the functional architecture of guardian. As you can see, guardian consists the user interface model, resource model, strategy model, and action model monitoring agent and collection agent. Mm, as I have already introduced monitoring agent and collection agent in the previous picture, so let's look at the user interface more module. Um, it's very easy to understand. It's a API layer which offer API to the upper platform to uh, to send the uh, HS strategy and and resources. And the uh, second is the resource model can has multiple kinds of resource classes uh, class classes which has defined an attribute of uh, resource by default. In the strategy model there are a lot of HA strategy for different kinds of resources, such as visual machine HA, physical machine HA, service HA, and other kinds of HA strategy. In the action model, we can do alarm, recovery, monitoring, and database access action, and so on. Then I will introduce more details about those function model of Guardian tell you how they work. This is a typical case about VMHA. Mm. Um, uh, as you can see, uh, in the down of the pictures, in the down of the picture, there is a um, Monitor, uh, there is a computer node, and the monitoring agent is running on the node. And also, the VMQML process is running on the same node. And while the VMQML process was was uh, uh, queue, was be, uh, was killed by uh, some unexpected reasons, the monitoring agent will uh, always, always monitoring the VMQML process uh, state, and if 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 it find out the failures about the VMQML process, it will send the samples to the guardian uh, to the collection agent, and the collection agent will write the samples to the um, database or the Redis. Um, at the same time. We can use the uh, uh, the user and the administrator can use the user interface model to define the strategies, to define the resources, 
the divider resources property through the resource model and write the resource inverse to the database. And so when the strategy engine uh, get the strategy uh, definition, it will start the uh, HA strategy. First, it will uh, do some pre-check to get the uh, to get the uh, samples to check the samples through the action engine uh, through the database access to check if the if there are abnormal samples in the MySQL or MySQL uh, database uh, have the abnormal samples about the resources. And then if we if the strategy engine find out the failures, it will do the oppose monitoring to do some pre-check to um, directly monitoring the VM uh, v, the VM check if if the VM is is up or down, and then he will he will uh, use the uh, uh, he will use the action engine to do the recovery actions such as to restart the VM QML process. If it restart uh, the the VM fire, it will migrate the VM to another computer node. And after that, uh, the strategy engine will after, uh, will do some after check actions to check if the VM is uh, has become the normal uh, the 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 normal state. It's a uh, it's a typical case about the VMHA in Guardian. So next, I will talk about uh, I will talk about the impre implement details about the Guardian. The first one is the visual machines HA due to the physical machines failures. And the original machine is on the shared storage. Uh, first step is that uh, uh, mm, the process is very similar. Is very similar like the last page, like uh, the preview page. Um, the monitoring agent, the monitoring agent will always watch uh, monitoring the physical machines, storage network, management network, and business network, and uh, not only send the abnormal samples to the collection agent, and, uh, uh, and the uh, normal states, and he, he, will, he will also collect the monitoring the collect the, the samples and send it to the collection agent and write samples to the database. And the stretch engine will always check the database to find that if we can get the samples about the uh, physical machines, network, network state, if, if, if the stretch engine find that we cannot get the samples. We'll, we'll check how many nodes in our cloud cannot get the samples. Um, we, we will send, we, will, we can, uh, the user can send the race of the nodes that we, uh, what can, that because uh, many nodes encounter error at the same time is uh, is mm, it's different case uh, like like this. So so we all only so we only so so the user can send the rate. Uh, if the nodes we can 
if we will uh, do some actions to the to the nose. So if if the nose like, cannot collect the uh, uh, physical network samples, it will do it will alarm it will do the alarm and send the SMP and or email message to the upper plan fold. Or if the nodes that encounter failures that is not over the rate we uh, defined before, we will we will use the monitoring model in action engine to do the post monitoring to check if we can pink the storage network or the other network. If we cannot can pink can pink uh, and check the network is in good states, so but I but we can cannot get the samples. So we will think maybe other reasons cause these failures. So we will do the alarm action. So if we cannot pink or uh, get the right states of the physical network, we will check the uh, physical machine's power. If the physical machines and and we will alarm the power states no uh, both the up and down. Um, so then we will power off the uh, uh, back node because we must guarantee the virtual machines always stably offering to the users. So we must evacuate the uh, uh, virtual machines to another normal node which can uh, continue to offering to the users. So for a first step, we must power off the bad nodes. Uh, it's, it is because we must make the Nova compute node uh, is down in the bad nodes, so we can do the evacuations. So when the VMs evacuate, evacuate to the another node, the stretch engine will check the VM states and recall the VM states to the database. So next is the virtual machine's HA due to the physical machine's failures, but the uh, Visual machines is on local disk. Um, it is uh, yes, our wish uh is uh one of our public cloud. The wish uh the uh the computer now have two disk. Um, two compute compute now. Uh, become a pair. Like this, like this. The uh, A node, uh, the DRBD zero in A node is pair with the DRBD zero in B node. And the DRBD one, one is this, is pair with the DRBD1 in B, B node. So first, when we uh, cannot get the, um, cannot get the samples from the database, uh, which, uh, uh, which monitoring the network of the physical machines, uh, we will check if if the node is a DRBD environment and get the node get the node pair. 
and then we'll get a we'll get a spare node. Spare node means the node we uh, haven't used, and no virtual machines run running on it. Then if if layer has no spare node, uh, it will alarm. Then if we find out a uh, find uh, available spare node, we'll shut off shut off the band node. Shut off the band nodes and store the pair between A and B. A and B no. A no and B no. And then we will repair, do the repair action between A no and C no, a B no and C no. Then if we repair fail, it will alarm. Then we will evacuate the visual machines from A node to C node. In the end, we will check the VM state. Mm, the process is more complex as the p images can show. And I will introduce the DRBD repair process. Mm, uh, at the normal time, A and B, uh, we, talk, we have talked, uh, uh, DRBD zero disk is paired with the DRBD zero uh, in bit node. And the uh, and the uh, DRBD one disk in A node is paired with the DRBD one disk in B node. So if uh, there are something wrong in the way in the A node, Garnier will shut down shut down the A node and do the DRBD disconnect action in B node. And then uh, Guardian will uh, SCP DRBD pair uh, configuration and do the DRBD adjust to adjust in the B node and the available spare node C node. And then restart the uh, DRBD service in B node and C node. May, uh, the, and do the DRBD connection between B node and C node. So now DRBD zero in B node and DRBD zero disk in C node became a new pair. DRBD one disk in B node and DRBD one disk in C node became a new pair too. And and DRBD and we will mount the DRBD one disk in C node to a directory. And and we evacuate the VM in A node to the C node. And the uh, virtual machines actually uh, also used for the use in the dedicated no uh, dedicated cloud in our companies. Mm. So as you can see, there are uh, many June, the bank Junes, uh, which uh, which collect the uh, a uh, bad host, and the spare drawer uh, have many uh, have some have a little spare host, which uh, which uh, which there are no there there no have no which machines running on the spare node. 
and the guardian will do the HA action. And uh, every user in the dedicated cloud have their, their own user zone. Uh, for example, the user one, the user one have the four nodes. And three nodes are uh, uh, VMs running on the three nodes and only a spare host, only a spare host, layers have no uh, virtual machines running on it. And if we, if the Guardian find out the failures on one of the bad host, it will do the uh, actions and remove the bad host from the user drew and move it into the bad drew. And then, oh, oh sorry, sorry. The, uh, sorry, the two step, uh, the second step is, is evacuate the VM visual machines on, on bad host to the spare host and then uh, move, uh, remove the bad host from the user drew and move it into the bad drew. And, uh, and then add a new, a, a new spare host into the user drew. Then I will talk about the virtual machine HA due to uh, VM OS crash. Uh, as you can see, we have a watchdog watchdog agent in the visual machines, and the monitoring agent will always listening the watchdog event of of a uh, visual machines. If the if the watchdog cannot feed the dog, uh, feed the dog means that uh, he, he will write the write some data into one uh, directory. So if the OS crash, it will, uh, the watchdog cannot write the data. So it will uh, restart the VM if it, if it cannot feed the dog uh, by default. And the monitoring agent will catch the restart action and um, Action, then make make one samples and send it to the collection agent and write the samples to the database. And the strategy, uh, strategy engine will check if they have the VM's abnormal samples. If we if if the strategy engine find out that VM always crash, it will alarm. And then it will uh, double check the VM's state in the ad. So the next is the service HA in visual machine. Mm, sometimes the watch uh, it may encounter the watchdog in visual machines that cannot fit the dog by uh, by itself uh, reason. So we have another agent, Cumul Gas Agent. Cumul Gas Agent will uh, in the VM will check the watchdog service state, and the monitoring agent will listen the event. If the cumul gas agent, uh, uh, if the watchdog state is, uh, is in the normal state, and if if the watch, watchdog service is not is abnormal is is in the no, abnormal state, it will, the monitor agent will send the samples through the collection agent and write the data to the database, and the stretch engine will check if the VM service have service uh, failure and alarm the, the VM service crash. And then, 
uh, and then the cumulus gas agent will also can rest, uh, can do uh, restart the service in the watch uh, in in restart the watchdog in the visual machines, and and in the end the stretch engine will also check the VM service state. It's an example of the watchdog, but we also have much service in the VM. It depends on uh, which one the user would like to monitor. Right to monitor. The next is similar. It is the service HA in physical machines. The monitoring agents in the computer will check the service in the computer node, uh, and not only the computer node, and we can also we can also uh, install the monitoring agent in the controller node. So we so so the monitoring agent check the service state and send abnormal samples to the clash agent and write write into the database. And the stretch engine find out the service abnormal sample and alarm it. And then the stretch engine will do the HA action to recover the service. For example, restart the service and so on. And then and in the end we'll check about check the service state double again, uh, double again. The next one is the certification HA in physical machine. It's very similar uh, with the other case. The monitoring agent check the certifica certification state and and report it. And if the strategy engine find out the abnormal sample, it will alarm. And there have no, there is no the recovering agent Asian in this image, but we can, but we can add it by ourselves. This case shows the good scalability of the Guardian. And the next one is is Visual Machines Network Network HA. We support we support the OVS, SR, IOV, DBDK port, a network HA for now. Most of the process of the Visual Machine Network HA is similar with the certification HA case. The biggest difference difference is the Wish Machines Network State's poster, which is in the monitoring agent. The poster is the function of how to monitoring how to monitor the VM's network state and support OES SRV DBK port of VM. For normal VM, that the port is OES type, the poster monitor We'll monitor the type, the QVB and QVO port. For the SRV VM, as the SRV port makes the package, can go to the physical network without going through the visual layer. So we can only monitor the physical network states when uh, where SRV port in. And for DPDK VM, we monitor the VHU port. And uh, next is Visual Machines Network QSHA. We support the OES and SRV right now. Uh, when we create a new VM, 
we will get the bandwidth QoS of the host. Uh, because Because the NOVA compute in the compute node will always collect the bandwidth QoS data and send it to the database. Uh, then when we create the VM, we will check the bandwidth QoS of the host and filter, uh, and filter the bandwidth state and find a suitable node to short node and schedule to create a computer node. And the Nova compute will always monitoring the bandwidth QoS in the computer node and send the network QoS over the notification to the Guardian. And the Guardian can be alarmed. Um, and the, la the last one, the last one is our plan. Uh, we will continually optimize the Guardian and new add new features. Um, we want, the, want, to, uh, want, want to optimize the Guardian, uh, hope it can be faster and more uh, current, uh, uh, accurate, accurate the do the HA and better scalability and can be better managing and concurrent processing a mechanism and implement, implement the physical machines HA through the CPU, memory, disk, and network, and so on. And we also want to cooperation and uh, development in the future, um, and we want to open source in the future and uh, contribute our HA experience to the community. Thank you. <laughs>